she wanted every African American to have an education and to have an opportunity and to realize that we're all the same. For almost three years, Nilda Comos has been studying every aspect of Mary McLeod Bethune. I studied all her smiles and her, how she expressed herself, the way she turned her head and the pictures, the way she stood. I have to know the person. I have to feel like I know it to get the expressions and the right uh, posture. She studied her to sculpt her. Nilda Comos, the sculptor who's bringing Mary McLeod Bethune back to life in 16 feet of marble, honed from Michelangelo's caves in the Tuscan mountainsides of Italy. It's like the biggest honor in history that you can give a person is to do a sculpture in marble. Comos landed the job before Florida even chose the person she'd be sculpting to go to the U.S. Capitol. One of 11 finalists for the honor and the only woman Comos was the only sculptor in the group who could work in marble. I think that had a lot to do with me getting chosen. Mary McLeod Bethune will be the first African American to represent a state in Statuary Hall. And like her subject, Comos is also a first. I will be the first Hispanic uh, woman to sculpt a woman in the, for the Capitol uh, National Statuary Hall. In Italy for the last year, Comos has been developing the statue, first creating it in clay to fine tune every detail. From there, she's used centuries old techniques to copy it to the marble stone. Now she's cutting, chiseling, and etching the raw slab into a vision. She's 70 percent completed. You can already see, you know, her smile and her it's uh, you don't have all the details, but it's there is everything is there already. Back in the States earlier this month and talking only to Wesh too, Comos gave us more exclusive details about this work of art. She's going to be the only sculpture in the Capitol with a cap and gown. So it's going to be striking just that and also the fact that she has a black rose. Dr. Bethune will be holding a black rose in one hand, one of her favorite flowers and symbols. And in her other hand, she'll have the cane famously given to her by President Franklin Roosevelt, a close, longtime friend. Though Dr. Bethune will be wearing academic robes, Comos left them open to reveal her sense of style. It's also a nod to her work as a civil rights leader. Comos is now back in Italy to finish the sculpture and ready it to ship to the U.S. Capitol. Before she left, we asked Comos about the detail that she's most excited to see come to life as she finishes the work. I think it's her expression, yes, because it's like everything else follows her expression. That's like the key, you know, like when we're there and we look at her, you know, I want it to be where people fall in love with her, feel her kindness and her strength. It, you know, it's a balance between strength and kindness. Incredible, right? All right, now there is a deadline for the statue to be finished. It's slated for a send-off blessing in Italian tradition on May 7th. As for when Mary McLeod Bethune will be placed in the U.S. Capitol, Westu has now learned that the state of Florida and statuary committee have requested the date of July 10th. That is Mary McLeod Bethune's birthday. We'll keep